Okay, let's take a look at homework 15.3. And these questions are going to be questions 25 through 33. You guys were assigned the odd questions, but if you look carefully at this, by the time you hit number 31, you're going to need to have done the even ones too. So we might as well just go through all of them. Um, basically what they're asking is to find the weight of a Hamilton circuit. And they're giving us this list of circuits, they've given us a graph, so basically what we need to do is just write down the, uh, the weights as we go along the circuit, add them up to find out the total weight of the Hamilton circuit. So for number 25 we need A, B, C, D, A. Okay, edge A to B, that has a weight of 40, so it's going to be 40 plus, well, B to C, B to C is 24, plus C to D, C to D has a weight of 10, plus D back to A, that has a weight of 14. And then what we want to do, whoops, if I don't knock stuff off of my desk, is plug that into our calculator and figure out exactly what that's going to be. So 40 plus 24 plus 10 plus 14 equals 88. So the answer for number 25 is 88. That's the weight of the Hamilton circuit that they gave us. Let's go ahead and do the same thing, 26, they're asking us A to B, that had a weight of 40, that edge from A to B has a weight of 40. B to D, so now we're going B to D, that one has a weight of 12, the weight on edge B to D is 12. D to C, edge DC, that has a weight of 10. And C back to A, if we go from C to A, that edge has a weight of 20. We add them together. We get 40 plus 12 plus 10 plus 20, and that equals 82. All right, number 27. Uh, same idea, let's follow the path that they've given us. Um, actually, the circuit that they've given us. A to C, okay, that's 20. Plus C to B, that's 24. Plus B to D, B to D is 12. Plus D back to A, that one had a weight of 14. Plug it into our calculator. 20 plus 24 plus 12 plus 14 gives us 70. So the answer for 27 is 70. Okay, next one we have A, C, D, B, A. A to C, that was 20, plus C to D, that was 10, D to B is 12, B to A is 40. Oops, I don't need another plus sign, I need an equal sign. Okay, so plug it into our calculator. 20 plus 10 plus 12 plus 40 equals 82. Now at this point you might notice something, and we've talked about this before, that whenever you have a circuit, a circuit kind of has to have a pair in these graphs that if I start at A and go all the way around and come back to A that way, isn't that really the same as if I started at A and went around in the opposite direction? So anytime we have a circuit, that circuit's also going to have kind of that opposite direction circuit. So in this case, at number 26, we had A, B, D, C, A, and that was equal to 82. Well, here we have A, C, D, B, A. That's also equal to 82 because it's the same circuit just going in the opposite direction. You can see A to C to D to B to A. So that's how, uh, that's how come you're going to get the same answer. These things are going to come in pairs. Um, so if you have kind of one answer that's hanging around that doesn't match up with the other answer, if you're looking at all of the circuits, each one is going to have to have an answer that matches it up. Okay, number 29. 
Let's finish these up. Actually, at this point, we might be able to figure it out. Let's go ahead and see if we can figure out which one it should be the opposite of. It looks like it should be the opposite of 27. We have A, D, B, C, A. So I'm going to say that that answer should be 70, but let's go ahead and do the work anyway. So A to D is 14. D to, oops, which are we? D to B. D to B is 12. B to C is 24. And C to A is 20. And if I add those up, that should equal 70. So 14 plus 12 plus 24 plus 20 equals 70. And it doesn't take a whole lot of guesswork to figure out that this last one had better equal 88 because that's the only one we haven't paired up yet. And you can see here again, A, D, C, B, A. It's the exact same circuit, just going in the opposite direction. So let's go ahead and actually do the work though. Let's make sure that we understand how to find it. A to D, edge A to D has a weight of 14. Edge D to C has a weight of 10. C to B has a weight of 24. B back to A has a weight of 40. And when I add those all together, it had better equal 88. So 14 plus 10 plus 24 plus 40. And that most certainly equals 88. So those are the answers for questions uh, 25 through 30. Question 31 asks us to use the answers from exercises 25 to 30 and the brute force method to find the optimal solution. And I guess the way they word that's kind of confusing because questions 25 through 30 are the brute force method. The brute force method says try them all. Try them all and whichever one is the lowest has the, is the most optimal path. So here we did. We tried all of the possible paths. This is a complete graph on four vertices. A complete graph on four vertices. Remember how to tell how many of the Hamilton circuits there are? If it's a complete graph, let me write that so that we can see it. Uh, complete graph on four vertices. has three factorial Hamilton circuits. And three factorial equals six. Six Hamilton circuits. And here are the six Hamilton circuits. So the brute force method just tells us whichever of these six had the lowest cost, that's going to be the optimal solution. And we had 88, 82, 70, 82, 70, and 88. The lowest cost are these two that are 70. So the optimal solution, this is for number 31. 31. The optimal solution is going to be either A, C, B, D, A. And that one equaled 70. Or the reverse of that. A, D, B, C, A. That equals 70 as well. So to find the optimal solution using the brute force method, well, we did the brute force method. We looked at every single possible Hamilton circuit in that graph and found out that the optimal solutions were A, C, B, D, A, or going in the opposite direction, A, D, B, C, A. Let's see, um, I think I'm gonna make a different video for number 33. Um, so if you are interested in how to solve number 33 using the nearest neighbor method, I will do that in another video.